James asks, what is your rewriting process? My rewriting process is, um, I, I print out the script first off. Um, I think if you try to just rewrite on the screen, you're going to end up not doing the things you need to actually do. You'll move commas around, but you won't actually change stuff you need to change. Um, I, even if I don't get notes from somebody else, I will write notes for myself saying, like, these are the things I want to do. And then I'll go through the script and in pen, change the things that can change, scratch out the sections that get scratched out. Um, and I'll be very aggressive because I always know I can go back to what was there, but I'd rather be aggressive and sort of start the new work. Um, if there's new scenes, new sequences that need to be written, I'll write them in a separate file and then put them in later and really treat it like new writing that I'm, I'm, I'm merging in. And if it's a pretty major rewrite, one of the things I found helpful to do is um, not even try to sort of go into that original file and change stuff. Rather, you know, take the stuff you're going to take out of the original script and paste it into something new. And so, like, you're actually saying, like, I select you. You get to move into the next thing. I'm sorry, you didn't make the cut. Um, and so what you end up with is, you know, a bunch of holes, but that's better than sort of, you know, having stuff that's sort of mediocre that you kind of try to, to tweak and change. So the question, if I'm going to paraphrase it, is uh, you, you've written for both animation and live action. What are the differences between writing in those two different, different formats when you're going to be working with real human beings as opposed to animated characters? Absolutely. Um, so I've written three animated movies, uh, two of them shot, shot. I did Titan AE and I did uh, Corpse Bride. So right now we're shooting Frank and Weenie, um, which is a stop motion animation movie in at three mills in London. And um, animated scripts look just like normal scripts. There's, there's very little technically different on the page. Um, they're numbered differently, but that's nothing you have to worry about. A producer will figure that out for you. Um, and then the only other thing that looks different on the page is because they have to record the voices separately from actually doing things. If you have a character gasp, um, you don't just leave that in scene description. You actually put the character's name and in parentheticals um, gasp with like no line after it, which drives you crazy the first couple times you look at it. But you understand why they do it. They actually have to have every line or thing that someone would would act has to be sort of written that way. Um, the the challenge, the, the biggest challenges and differences with writing animation is you'll have a conversation early on about the things that they can do and things that really can't be done. And on Titan AE, we moved between different directors during like the four weeks I was working on it. So they said like, water is okay, but characters can't get wet because we can't do wet cloth in the technique <laughs> we were doing. Or that there would be really specific little thing changes and you roll with that, that's natural. Um, in Corpse Bride, it's very difficult for these puppets to sit. And so that scene where I've had them sitting down, they can stand, that's fine. Um, the, where a screener can tend to get frustrated in animation is there's a whole thing called a story department. And what the story department does is they take your script and they break it into storyboards so they can plan the shots for the movie. And in the process of doing that, they will change things. And they will change things for really no good reason sometimes. And that can be maddening. You have to sort of... It's analogous to actors, and like actors will sometimes change things. You don't know why they're changing those things, but they're changing those things. Sometimes they come up with something better, sometimes they come, they don't. Um, but as a writer, you just have to sort of surrender your ego and accept that like there'll be things, there'll be fights to have and fights not to have. So in animation, what you'll get is a, a scratch reel, which basically it's all these storyboard shots sort of cut together as like a rough um, version of the movie with some temp voices, with some of the real voices in there. And you'll keep getting these things that'll become more and more real as they drop in real animation, as they drop in real voices. And you'll have opportunities sometimes to tweak moments, to tweak lines, to tweak things along the way to, uh, to improve the movie as they're doing it. It's, there's no editing really in animation. So screeners tend to be very good in the editing room where we can go through and sort of offer suggestions for cuts and, and, and how to get through things. Um, you don't have, a lot of extra footage in animation. So, you know, you're going to end up making some version of exactly that movie you saw in the scratch reels. Right.